Hello and welcome everybody to this uh, third tutorial about how to create clutch mechanism. Here is Heni Trigam, mechatronic engineer. So in the previous tutorial I have created the driving shaft with the friction disc. Uh, in this third tutorial we are going to see how to create the uh, fork part which is a part of the swinging mechanism that will allow us to trigger the clutch and untrigger it so we go in part create a new part sketch sketch in the face plane and then we create a simple rectangle and then we create a circle uh, we go to the middle point here we create our circle now my dimensions I'm gonna put some dimensions here about 16 ok and here is about um, 15 ok in a way that uh, the height of the part is about 23 ok mm -hmm. and then we need to create the hole that uh, will fit inside the uh, let's say outside the drive shaft so five radius we can put five here and it will size automatically to five so it's gonna be a 10 diameter uh, circle we trim the entities that we do not need uh, we be careful that uh, while choosing trim we choose trim to closest so this one okay this one and the arc here okay in good we exit the sketch and then we go on features extrude mixtures are about 10 which is the distance between our two shoulder surface in the driving shaft if you remember ok so I'm gonna create some fit to make uh, our part look uh, prettier if it then is too much you're gonna put like two and two also here good and so now we're gonna need to create a road that will be guided by the uh, swinging part so we go here in the side surface the floating menu we choose sketch okay as usual a center line so we know exactly the center of our piece and you are able to place the circle right in the center right in the middle here the circles, my dimensions and 5 millimeter of diameter and then we're gonna put the distance like about 4 not too close to the tip here ok we exit sketch and then we're gonna extrude the circle to create a small axe here a small axe about uh, 8 that's good and then we go on fillet and we choose a fillet of uh, like 0 0.8 smaller than 1 here okay good so now we're gonna make some colors
Uh, in colors, uh, I can choose green. Okay, I'm gonna choose a yellow color. Okay, and we uh, make sure that we color the whole part. If I want to make the part look like it's uh, an assembly of uh, multiple pieces, I can colorate the uh, small axis here differently. So then I choose uh, features. I unselect and clear the whole part and features here. I go there on the plus icon. Here I have the creation tree. I choose the last functions that allowed us to create the accents and also the fillet. And I choose another color like gray. Bravo. I can modify the intensity of the uh, colors here. Okay, good. And then we save. I'm gonna name it like fork or uh, trigger as you like and then save it. and also I'm gonna create the uh, another part which is the swinging road so a new part okay mm-hmm sketch is plain as usual and then I choose this uh, shape here slot shape okay I put the uh, two points randomly at the beginning and then I go smart dimensions I'm gonna put uh, something like 60 okay 60 of length and uh, thickness about uh, let's say 8 that's good okay we're gonna create another slot inside okay at this time the slot uh, is going to be about 2.5 diameter that's exactly the diameter of the uh, radius of the uh, little axle that I created in the previous piece on length here let's say we choose 22 that's good okay Exit sketch and then I extrude. Mm -hmm. For extrusion, I choose like uh, four. Four is okay. Mm -hmm. And then for the swinging road, I'm gonna uh, create another axle that will allow this road to swing. So I get sketch on this surface. As usual, we go normal view. Mm, I need to show the, the middle of this part. I choose the center line and approach the middle. It will be shown. Okay. Mm, then I take uh, a circle. So it will be better if the center line is equidistant like this when I choose a circle I will be able to choose the center line like this 2.5 okay exit and then I extrude An extrusion about 9 9 is good okay a little visual effect with it. But 
this dimension is 0 0.5 ok now I'm gonna need to create the pedal so how the uh, operator is gonna activate or trigger the clutch using a pedal uh, exactly like in automobiles so uh, another time I'm gonna create the one more time the uh, sketch on this face normal and then I will create a form which is elliptic I select ellipse I put a point uh, around here and I must go uh, in the uh, okay in this direction so uh, my ellipse is uh, will not uh, be uh, aligned okay So uh, I can modify my edit simply by clicking and dragging on the uh, pole points here. I can choose its thickness. But it would be better if uh, the pedal is more outside. So I click on this point and I will clear the relation of uh, coincidence delete all. So I will be able to move my ellipse outside the part like this here. Yeah. Okay. Exit sketch. And then I'm gonna extrude, but not symmetric. So let's say four in this direction. Out of you, seven. And in the other direction, I'm going to choose uh, like a 12, is ok, not 11, 11 will be better, ok, good, so our smoothing road is now red, I give it some color, uh, let's say blue, blue with less red and less uh, uh, green ok and then we save swinging road Good. ok our next part is going to be the receiver shaft with its uh, friction disk so we go on new part as usual sketch face plane and then we're gonna draw circles one for the friction disk the other one for the shaft the friction disk 50 millimeters of diameter and then for the shaft ok exit sketch extrude 2 millimeter for the disk and then we go on the plus sample we select the sketch and then we go on extrude base we go at the end here, select its contours and we select the inner circle for length it's uh, like the motor shaft 62 or maybe lesser this time 52 ok and then we create a little offset for aesthetics one okay so we're gonna need to 
upgrade the friction surface. We'll go on this plane with the floating manual to sketch normal. And then we create our two circles that represent uh, the friction surface. 24. Minus about 12. Okay. And then uh, we need to reduce the friction surface. So we're going to extrude a portion of circle. So go on center lines from the center to the upper pole. And then we select the normal line. We do a line from the center to outside circle. It's no problem. And then you're going to measure with smart motion an angle. Here is about 20. And get mirror entities, mirror about the center line, entities to mirror the normal line. Okay, we have created a portion of uh, the surface. We will uh, delete the entities that we do not need. Trim entities, which in this and this, this. Also these and the inner circle. So you get a portion here. Okay. Then we go near linear sketch button. We select the arrow. Circular sketch panel. We go in the center here. And we select the center point. The only point that is in the circle in this part. Okay. And it is to pattern our four uh, entities, and then we're gonna find some uh, difficulties to select the last one. We click on the server, no problem. Okay, that's not good. Okay, no problem. We're gonna do otherwise. But I wanted to create some more, so maybe we begin by selecting this one entity here. Circular pattern. We select the others. But here, in the number of repetition, we choose six. Okay, that's good. Six entities, and then we're gonna extrude. Extrusion is about 1.5 this time. Okay. Our friction surface is uh, almost done. Now we need to reduce the contact with the other disc. So the Friction surface do not need to be extremely plate, so we choose the above plan, sketch, we go normal with this plane, and then we create the center line right in the middle. Okay. So now we're gonna draw a spline like we did for the first. But uh, this time this plane is on the above plane. We select the point here, the first point. The second point is near the surface. And the last point is actually somewhere here. Good. And so we have the freedom to move this point. We want. Okay. So 
so what we're gonna do is a revolve it cut but we're gonna need to create the control closed control here we select a line we go from the upper point sorry we go from the upper point and go here parallel and then we close the control exit sketch and then we select revolve it cut okay here we need to revolve this control then I click OK good our surfaces are kind of round here good and then uh, before we leave I uh, need to create some other surfaces so to be able to assemble uh, an effect part effect part uh, be like uh, helix, wheel, gears so I will select the tip here surface, select sketch ok gonna need to draw a polygon with six sides we go in the center we draw hazardous polygon and then we're gonna set the dimension about 3.5 good ok exit sketch we have our polygon waiting for extrusion we extrude the polygon distance be like uh, 5 too few, maybe 10 good ok our receiver shaft is done we only need to add some color ok color like uh, orange with less green and less blue ok more green I am free to, we are free to choose uh, whatever color we like click ok we're gonna save the part here the receiver shot ok 